How's everyone doing? Hopefully you are uh, excited to tune in tonight to see some results. I'm Diana Clark. And I'm Carson Rogers. And uh, before we get, dive into the final results, we want to explain a few things to you. So you're actually going to see a, a picture that shows all of these results in, in a box and it has a bunch of different descriptions on top of it. So what we're looking at, I'm going to kind of go through just to explain some of this and how we utilized it within uh, our decisions here today. So we have hot carcass weight, that's HCW, that is actually the weight of the animal while it was still on the harvest floor. So it's hide, hooves, guts, and head have been removed. Uh, we have PYG and APYG. So your PYG is essentially your back fat thickness, that fat thickness that's sitting right along the ribeye. Okay, so the, the bigger that is, the larger the number, the fat, fatter that animal was, and the smaller number, the skinnier the animal was. Then we also look at our ribeye area, REA, that's actually looking at the size of the ribeye. You want a larger ribeye, more beefy, robust. KPH, that's your kidney, pelvic, and heart fat. So we're just looking to see if the animal had any excessive fat within the carcass itself. And then you have your calculated yield grade. Remember the lower yield grade is more valuable. You have a better chance of uh, higher yielding products. Your higher the yield grade is less valuable. So it goes from yield grade one to yield grade five. Then you look at your marbling score and your overall quality grade. This is essential for beef, okay? The more quality, the higher the marbling, the better it's going to eat. So we need to make sure that the animal has a lot of marbling in there. You want fat in the muscle, you want less fat outside the muscle. So that's really what we are looking at. We went through and we looked at every single one of these animals at that ribeye surface and evaluated the carcass to see how much marbling was within that ribeye and to make sure that it still had enough beefy robust shape and minimum back fat thickness. That would be the ideal animal. So going through those, we came with the following results. You guys are ready? Perfect. Now before we dive exactly into the results, we just want to preface that it was a great contest and in many contests there are a lot of tiebreakers, right? Especially in the livestock world where we have to split hairs. Um, and so we just wanted to highlight the fact that a lot of the tiebreakers that you guys will see in these results columns were split amongst a lot of those qualities that Diana spoke about, whether it be the marbling, overall muscling, the yielding of that animal. So we look at each individual tiebreaker and assess those based on the parameters, right? And so I just want to preface that, that although a lot of them were close, we did have to pick a winner and ultimately the decisions were made, right? But without further ado, we would like to congratulate each and every one of you on a great contest. It has been a very odd year to say the least. We are very fortunate in Wayne County to have this uh, opportunity afforded to us that you all could have a contest. So we just want to say thanks to everyone involved. Uh, but without further ado, the beef class coming in in 10th place I do apologize if I mispronounce your name. I'm from Texas, so sometimes we get these things wrong, right? But in 10th place, we have Caleb Wiles, excuse me, the dairy class, not the beef, the dairy class. We have Caleb Wiles in 10th place. In 9th place, Andrew Ream. In 8th place, we have Catherine Armstrong. In 7th place, Aaliyah Wirth. In 6th place, Jack Rohr. 5th place, Aiden Beckler. Fourth place, Scott Armstrong. Third place, Lacey Ramsier. Our reserve grand champion in the dairy class is Heath Wood. And our overall grand champion in the dairy class for 2020 is Mia Snyder. Okay. Onto our beef class. Once again, many tiebreakers, as you will note. In 10th place, we had Mallory Kendall. In ninth place, we had Andrew Ream. In eighth place, we had Kinsey McKelvey. In seventh place, we had Rolena Moore. In sixth place, Haley Caldwell. In fifth place, Logan Hackworth. Fourth place, Zach Lehmeister. In third place, Heath Wood. Our second place reserve grand champion, Sarah Armstrong, and our overall grand champion for the beef category of 2020, Olivia Soto. So with that, we'd like to congratulate all of you on your hard work. This is no easy undertaking, as you all are aware. There's a lot of responsibility to take care of an animal, 
and we just want to congratulate everyone who participated in both categories. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to either of us via email. So I'm D Clark at CertifiedAngusBeef.com. at C L A R K. And I'm Carson Rogers with C Rogers at CertifiedAngusBeef.com. Thanks, Carson and Diana. We really appreciate everything that you guys and CAB do to uh, help us put together this carcass competition and be able to have that educational program is very informative and has a great value to these kids. So next up, we're going to announce the rate of gain winners. For the dairy class, at a rate of 4.15 pounds per day is Allison Wiles. And then for the beef class, at a rate of 3.24, we have Heath Wood. Congratulations. Now from everyone here with the Junior Fair, the Beef Committee, the OSU Extension 4-H departments, we'd love to give a huge shout out to HMI, the Heffelfinger Meats uh, company for hosting us um, year after year. They've, they've really been good to us, done a great job over in Jeromesville. We really enjoy all of their support, as well as from CAB and um, the Meats Lab down at Ohio State for giving us some of our content here in this video. We'd love to just say thank you and congratulations to all of our winners here today. Our program for giving out the awards will happen at the fair on the Saturday of the Beef Show in between the dairy beef showing first and the colored steer showing after that. We will do the awards presentation for the carcass class on Saturday. So thanks to everybody for watching and we'll see you at the fair.